out. Find the name of Jesus. Speak out. Who are you? What have you done to our family? I make our family cry by making her suffer. You make her suffer. By sickness, you have caused her. Bedwetting. Make her bedwet. Yes. For how long? 15 years. For 15 years. How do you enter this body? From my father's village. Thank you, Lord. Now go with your sickness in the name of Jesus. You have been exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. All over your body. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Ow! In the name of Jesus. Ow! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Out! Contrary spirit. You bow to Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Out! With your sickness. Out! You have been exposed. Thank you, Lord. Out in the name of Jesus. Out! Elle souffre des neurésies. Thank you, Lord. La bipioli. Out! Because of Christ. Out! It's your sickness. Out! Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. De la casa de padre. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, you are free. Gracias. Eso se llama libre. Es espíritu que le hacía mojar la cama. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Déclaré libre dans Jésus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. received that liberation to the glory of God and she's right here in our midst to return all glory to God for what he has done in her life you're welcome please introduce yourself introduce the person sitting beside you and tell us about the goodness of God in your life my name is Sosa Mary Ayomide the person beside me is my mom I want to thank God for what God has done for me because it was not easy from the spirit of bedwetting for the past 15 years. I have been through a lot, if not for God. Ah, well, I give God the glory because the bedwetting started when I was 11 years. I had a dream that I saw myself beside a river and me and one, one man, one giant man that we are talking. So I told the man that I want to go and use myself. And the man was not telling me that. You are not going anywhere. Stand here and use yourself. Where are you going? I was not telling the man that me, me I want to go and use myself. Just leave me alone. Let me go and use myself. The man was not forcing me that you must sit down there and use yourself. I was not, oh, me, I want to use myself. I was not struggling. I'm, then, so I stand there and I use myself. Before I wake up, everywhere was wealth. Ah, I was ashamed of myself. Since then, ah, I was now. To go out with my friends, spending time with my friend, I will not be able to go out when I was in school too. So to go out with my friend self is a problem for me because I was ashamed. If I went out with my friend and started again and it happened again, so to go out, I will, so a day, one day, so I slept again and I had a dream that I saw myself in my father's compound again that, I saw a man. The man was not. The man was not telling me that. Ah. And I saw the man. That me, I want to go is myself. Or the man was not telling me that. Ah. Where are you going? Me, I, I said, me, I want to go is myself. I was not telling him. Free me. Let me go and use myself. The man was not that. You are not going anywhere. You must stand there and use yourself because you are the glory of your family. I was like, ah, ah. Let me go and use myself. I was not struggled. And let me go and use myself. The man was not. I'm not going. So. I stand there and I use myself. Before I wake up again, everywhere was wealth. It has affected me many places in my relationship, in schools, in many places. To go out is my problem. To stand with people is my problem. To talk to people, I always feel ashamed of myself. Because if I talk, I will, I will be thinking maybe people know what I'm going through. A day I went out to my friend. My friend was not telling me that. Sleep over. I was not telling me, I'm not, I can't sleep. Oh. Please. Let me just go home. Let me go and meet my mom. My mom is going to talk. If I came home late, my friend was like, stand here, Jerry. My friend was like, stay here. Nothing is going to happen. I said, ah, you, you can't understand. Let me go home. Let me go and stay with my mom. So my friend was not forcing me. I said, no problem. Let me sleep over. So when I sleep over, I had a dream again. I saw the same man. Before I woke up, everywhere was wet. <laughs> In my friend's house. 
So I was ashamed of myself. That day, I had to run to my mom because I cried. I cried. Since then, my mom has spent, my parents tried. My parents tried. My mom has spent a lot of money because it's not easy to see money because this shame to go. My mom has spent a lot of money since then. Since then, a day, me and my sister went out again. So, we went to a program. So, I sat down. So, on a chair like this, I slept off. Before I woke up, everywhere was wet. Because my little sister was there with me. My sister was there. Uh, that is the one, oh, that is not me. That is the one. I was not. Because that day, I cried. So, I was so embarrassed. I cried and I called God. I said, God, why me? Why me? Since how many years till now, there's no solution to my problem. Till now. Since then, to have relationship with anybody, I can't have. Because I was scared. If not for God, this relationship that I'm in now, that it's only God that gave me this man. That This is your right man. If not for God, I will not be able to marry till now. So the first day, me and my, boy, me and my husband, we slept. My husband was now, he's the one that wake me up, that stand up, look at the way you are wearing. I, say, I was not pretending that it's not me or it's not me. He said, shut up, it's you. He said, shut up, it's you. I was not, I was not telling him that. It's not me, Joe. He said, shut up, it's you. Is it your first? I said, yes. My husband said, ah, this is embarrassment. I said, oh, I know. But, ah, because of this embarrassment, my uh, my, my husband asked me to go back to my mom's place. He asked me to go and stay with my mom's place until the solution solved. So I went, so I, that's why I left my mom, that's why I went back to my mom's place. And my brother introduced me, introduced me to this synagogue church. So, all the nation. When I came here, before the, before the evangelist touched me, I was seeing the evangelist like nothing. That, who is this one? And the spirit was telling me that, Go outside, go and sit down. This one cannot offer you anything. Just go outside. I was not forcing myself. Me, I'm not going anywhere. This place, oh, today is my own. People are delivering. Me too, I must get that deliverance today. I was saying that to myself. That I must get that deliverance today. When the evangelist touched me, I feel like something left my body. I was, before I was heavy. I was very, very heavy. Since that day, ah, I was relieved. But since that was Sunday till now, Ah, I slept like a baby. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? No more nightmare, no more dreaming of any dream, no more nightmare of any giant man, any seeing yourself in your father's compact. I don't, since that was Sunday till now, today, if I wake up, I was not checking myself that, is this me again? I was so surprised that, ah, is this me? Ah, this is another person. I was not checking myself today. I was not touching my body, it's not me. So, is it not last week Tuesday? I called my husband that this is not more happened to me. My husband said, You are welcome back to your house. So, with this wonderful work of God in your life, what advice would you like to give the people watching you right now? I mean, those people that are experiencing what you experienced in the past. People that, yes, people, people that is experience what I'm experiencing. Please and please, don't be ashamed of yourself. Stand. Stand and say what you are going through. If I did not stand and, and thank God, as for me, me, I've used my mouth to say a lot of things to God. But if you are going through any situation, please don't use your mouth to say negative things to God. Just have faith in God. Don't have faith in God. God is a wonderful God. God is, God is so sweet. I, I swear, God is, God is wonderful. And I give God the glory. Shall we put our hands together once again for our miraculous work in God? So let's hear one or two words from the mom. So the mom is going to speak in Yoruba language and it will be interpreted for better comprehension. Ma'am, you're welcome. Please introduce yourself and tell us more about the goodness of God in your daughter's life. Ma, aki inkabo, ejo, esoru kwa infuwa, kesi sonikwa inkondye. 
ke si so ni shoki nipa nkan ti olohun ti se nile aye yin nile aye omo yin good morning church ninu gbogbo nkan to so e kin se pe iro o ma je itiju fun emi gangan to ye pe to oruko mi ni elin sosa gbogbo nkan to so e kin se iro o ma je itiju fun mi po amo mi o le jade ko le lo sodo awon ore to ba lo bayi okan mi ma wa loke ko ma ni pe o de nsi kan ah nkan bayi tu sele si mi o mi won emi gan mi won fe ko ma jade but mo sa ma ke po lo a di gbe jade ai mo ye owo ta ti no titi ti baba e wa ku wa fu wale o wa ku emi ati enikan a sa ma gbe ko bi tin ba ti gbo nkan tin ba ti gbo a sa ma se titi ti ojo monday lo pe mi pe mo mi kini tun ma ti sele o ose to koja lo mo ni try ko wa mo wa pe egbon e egbon e wa ni kin try kin mo wa si church gba to wa di sunday mo wa mu wa pelu ogu olohun ko de se de bi bayi gbogbo e ti di o ngba gbe o ti di eni tu sile olohun ti gba ogu olori e a inu mi jun wo ayo mi kun omo mi le jade nisin mi ni ko si praise the lord the woman said her name is elin sosa and she is here to testify to the glory of god regarding a daughter's deliverance that daughter has been experiencing this bedwetting this shameful act of bedwetting for long and she has taken her to many places in search of solution but yet the problem persisted and also it has been a shameful thing that she's always scared for her because she can't mix up with her friends she can't go out she's always scared for her as a young lady but when she came here last sunday that God intervened in a situation and everything has become a thing of the past in our life to the glory of God. Emi na ni testimony ke kere kan ti mo fe se. Emi na wa njo Sunday na. Emi na gba itu sile. Tori ese yi. E ni suru die ma ke to tesi waju ni pa nkan to lon se ni ile aye yin. E je ka wo be to sile na bo se waye the woman also said that she also received her healing to the glory of god last week sunday regarding her leg but before she proceed let's watch how she received her healing to the glory of god okay but você come for the question to me na tua pantalla para ver como cresce o testemunho And that was how she received her healing to the glory of God. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? You must say every by your Sunday, not be alone. She took me to learn here. The big party, I say, you see. O ti pe mo ti nowo 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 lati odun ke wa le le ti mo fi wa lenu ese yi ati joko gan wahala to ba joko die wa dide to ni se no di da de ni mo se iko n je ki ni se yen se dada so mi le travel o se ni we e mo so mo wa di eni joko si le mo ko ma joko ka se die die fun awon eyan ni gba ti mo de de bi ba njo sunday yen olohun to mi sile mo le ni mo le se gbogbo nkan nkan ti mi le se tele mo le se ara mi fu ye inu mi jun mo dupe fun olohun fun ohun la to olohun se fun mi shall we put our hands together for jesus the woman is thanking god for the healing she received here last week sunday she said she has been having leg problem for the past 10 years and this problem has affected her in many ways she said she rendered services as a cook and this problem has really limited her because she can't travel to render her services she has to stay at home to be doing her cooking and still she was experiencing this pain but when she came last week sunday and she was prayed for this problem became a thing of the past and now she has been healed to the glory of god so i put her hands together for jesus 
So, Mama, can you take some few steps for us? Let us see the changes that you have from before to now. Mama, she ele nri die fun wa kari yato. Be se nri tele ati be se nri nsin. Tele mi le gbese mi bayi. Tin ba nlo gbon mama ta mu le gbe but listen mo le nri no ma. Mama said before she can't walk like this but now she can walk to the glory of God. Mama she se na yin dun yin be se nri yen. Are you still feeling any pain? O do mi mo. She said she no longer feel the pain that she's healed to the glory of God. So with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is the word of advice that you like to give to listeners out there? Mama pelu nko lati Olorun ti se nile aye yin, kini oro eyan ju ti e fe gba awon to nwo yin lowo lowo bayi. Iyan iyan ju ti mo fe fu awon eyan ni wi pe ke eyan duro si fun Olorun, tori Olorun ni Olugba yan. Olorun ni lo le tun yan sile, ko si nkan te yan ma se ile aye yi, lai so Olorun. Lai so Olorun o nse nikan kan, but to ba ti mura pe nisin mo fe si Olorun Olorun a gbe la de tu e sile so mama is advising and encouraging us to stay strong in God because he's the one who can save and deliver when you have him you have everything shall we put our hands together for Jesus venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de madame Hélène et sa fille nous allons commencer par sa fille qui dit qu'elle souffrait d'énurésie depuis l'âge de 11 ans lorsqu'elle a eu un cauchemar en se voyant dans le rêve à, à côté d'un homme géant qui lui, demande, qui lui demandait d'uriner sur place. Et donc depuis euh, qu'elle a eu ce cauchemar, elle a commencé à uriner euh, en dormant et euh, elle, à chaque fois qu'elle se réveillait, son lit était mouillé. Elle dit qu'elle ne pouvait pas aller voir des amis, que cela affectait sa vie sociale, sa, sa vie professionnelle, que c'était difficile pour elle de se mouvoir. Et donc sa mère était toujours à ses côtés pour l'encourager. Elle dit donc euh, à la recherche de solutions, elle n'en a pas trouvé, mais finalement elle est venue ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations. Et comme vous avez pu le voir tout à l'heure sur vos écrans, un des évangélistes a prié pour elle. Elle était délivrée de cet esprit d'homme géant méchant qui la faisait uriner euh, au lit. Et sa mère, à ses côtés, donne le témoignage suivant. Elle dit qu'elle avait des difficultés pour marcher. Et comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, euh, la pasteur Evelyne Joshua a prié pour elle et qu'elle est maintenant libre de toute douleur, qu'elle peut se mouvoir, marcher librement comme elle l'a démontré aujourd'hui. Elle donne toute la gloire à Dieu. Elle donne comme conseil d'accourir à Dieu, quels que soient vos problèmes. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Escuchamos el increíble testimonio de esta joven y su madre. Ella nos comenta que desde muy pequeña estuvo involucrada en diferentes rituales y desde entonces los ataques espirituales comenzaron. Ella veía en sus sueños a un hombre y cuando veía a este hombre ella orinaba en su cama, ella mojaba su cama desde muy pequeña y le afectaba en su vida social y también en su vida profesional ya que ella no podía estar en un lugar ya que se dormía y terminaba orinándose donde estaba. Luego de llegar aquí... Vemos como el evangelista oró por ella, recibe su liberación instantánea en el nombre de Jesús. Ella ya no moja su cama y además 